Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Lucky number 11, movie thoughts. So, at the end we find out what's actually going on, and it turns out to be nothing more than a revenge plot. You know, Hartnett lost his family as a kid, and now he grows up and wants revenge on everyone. And the movie has everyone getting shot in some way or another, or killed at least. You know, including the cop, who turns out was actually a henchman of one of them. Seriously, what is, what is the point of that even? Just, does everyone need to get killed by the end? Is that... There are so many twists there at the end, when one would suffice, and it's not even that interesting. You know, the plan itself is decent enough. But it does rely on, you know, so Bruce Willis is the only person they could call to have, you know, these people killed. And, you know, I get that Morgan Freeman is setting Nick Slevin up to be the fall guy. But, you know, what, what if he didn't go along with Willis' suggestion? Or what if he, you know, just... The tiniest little change would make it all completely crumble. What if someone actually had killed Slevin before then? They're really relying on, you know, him being able to... I mean, they killed that family at the beginning for not being able to pay gambling debt. Now they have this other guy with gambling debt, and hey, luckily he doesn't get killed. The... The whole thing of, you know, oh, they stay in this one room staring at each other... Okay, I get that the glass is bulletproof, but there's such a thing as bombs. They're, you know, they're mob gangs. Surely they have some way of getting to the other. I would, you know, maybe if they had them, like, moving from safe location unknown to the other to safe location unknown to the other, you know, bunkers or something. I don't know, but just... They're just standing there staring at each other. And the, the, the whole story between them is not that interesting. You know, it's just we have all these different plot elements that by themselves are not interesting and put together are not interesting. You know, I'm not sure there's much of anything interesting in the film, really, as far as plot goes. It, again, it's just the way it's told. You know, if all of this was told in a more straightforward manner, then, you know, it would be completely different. And that doesn't go for every movie with twists. I would argue that Memento, you know, that is a movie where you're trying to figure out what exactly is going on, and when you do find out, it is a twist. But if you go into that movie knowing the twist, it's still an interesting story. It's still... It has something to say. This is just, you know, mob bad and, you know, revenge story. That's, that's it. There's nothing, and ooh, the cops are, you know, in with it corrupt as well. It's not even that the whole film is worthless, just most of it. It, when you see the background, you know, when Bruce Willis is explaining the background to the person we find out is Nick. And that was also actually kind of clever, you know, we find out, oh, that guy was Nick, that was why he needed to die, and he needed to be, you know, used as the actual fall guy in that situation. But Bruce explaining the story of Slevin's family dying, and the gambling debt, and all that, that was quite interesting, kept things moving, it, you know, when that started I didn't expect it to move that fast, and then it suddenly just ended, and, you know, there at the beginning I was actually kind of expecting the whole movie to be told in flashback like that. I mean, when, you know, the moment Bruce Willis starts talking, I pretty well knew that he was going to kill Nick, you know, even though we didn't know it was Nick at the time, and we didn't know why. But I thought that was going to be the end of the movie, that he was going to, you know, do something and then engage some new plan that we wouldn't find out what was, you know. Not a sequel baiting, but just a saying, you know, his work goes on. But then it 
ended really early and then the rest of the movie starts and you know just immediately with the introduction of Josh Hartnett I just never got into his character there, there was nothing there for me to get into you know basically he's unlucky and he's you know he's a smart talker he's a smart aleck that's it, you know, that is not enough for an audience to, you know, grab onto, especially when, again, almost immediately after the suggestion, he agrees to kill someone he doesn't know. You know, we find out that he does, but when you first see that, that's not what, you know... I would have preferred if the movie had established things, and yeah, whatever, you know, oh, he lost his apartment, he was mugged, he lost his girlfriend, so what? We don't know how long he supposedly lived at the apartment, how, what the relationship with the girlfriend was, you know, all these things, it's just, we don't know anything about Hartnett's character, and it makes it basically, I don't know, at least I couldn't latch onto him at all, and like I said in the review, left with no one to care for. I wanted to see pretty much everyone get shot in the movie, and eventually that actually started happening, you know, and it was surprisingly less satisfying than I thought it would be. Anyway, if it had been, I'm not gonna compare it to anything because then I'd be spoiling those other movies, but there are movies where at the very end you find out that what you thought you knew about our lead is not true. That would have been better. That would still have been bad, but it would have been better because at least there would be something to care about. But we're just left with this void. And again, it's not, it's not the acting. Hartnett does great, but there's nothing there. You know, there's just, there are no characters for us to really get into. Lucy Lou being a p potential exception, but she's not in it all that much. And, you know, even she isn't all that compelling. I don't know, the film just feels like it's just trying to surprise us. You know, like there's the scene where they're out for dinner and then suddenly, oh wait, I'm on a mission, you know, and it's just, ooh, it changes, so what? Yeah, it changes the tone, what is the point of it? It's just, we still just, is that supposed to keep it going, keep it fresh, keep it energetic, that we don't know what's going on and that suddenly something else is going on? It just, it doesn't deliver anything that is interesting or rewarding until the very end. And, you know, the fact that it's a revenge story, that's fine. I don't mind revenge. I like several revenge stories. But don't pretend that it's complex or interesting. It's a revenge story. It's just someone died, someone else has to die for that, you know. If you're gonna... If you're gonna get complex with a revenge story, you should at least get into is revenge at all satisfying, you know, is there something, or at least have some, yeah, whatever. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.